Welcome, thanks for joining. My name is Doug Fink. I am a PowerShell Microsoft MVP since 2009. And today I'm going to show you a utility I wrote called conditional formatting. So let's take a look at what it does. And what I have here is a CSV file called data. And it's a little bit of sales data. by region, has a region, state, units, and price. And what I wanna do is I wanna print it the same thing out, but I want to conditionally format only where units are greater than or equal to 520. So I wanna see these highlighted. If it's greater than 520, I'm gonna highlight those as green. Otherwise, I'm gonna just leave it as is. So first thing I wanna do is import my function. And when I do the import CSV, I'm going to pipe that to um, out conditional formatting. If I don't specify anything, we get back the same data. So I'm going to pass it a script block. And in the, and in the script block, I can do a check because it's going to get past a dollar item from the out conditional formatting and that dollar item is going to be the current line being processed so i can say if uh, dollar item dot units is greater than or equal to 520 i want to return i'm going to set a color and i'm going to use the dollar ps style dot background and i want to return uh, a green I want to turn that green. And then at the end of the script block, I'll simply turn return color. And let's see what we get. Cool. So I can now have a threshold of 520 or more, and I will color it green. Let's also color the other rows. Let's color them red. So I'm going to set the color to red and if it's green, if it's five greater than or equal to 520, I'm going to set it to green and then I'll return. So let's uh, take a look at what that does. And there you have it. So now I can conditionally color it based on a threshold. Let's uh, up the number. Let's say anything greater than 700. We can run that. And now I have fewer rows colored. And last but not least, let's say I only want to see units greater than 900 or equal to 900. Let's see what we get. So that shows one item that meets that criteria. So you can pipe any data you want. You can pipe in data from a REST endpoint, uh, pipe, convert some JSON, you can pull in uh, get service, you can pull in things like get process, and then based on whatever you want to put here, any PowerShell that you want to do it is checking. Based on what you're checking, you can then return a color. Let's see if I can do one more instead of doing this red. Right, so dollar ps st uh, style background has a whole bunch of different things. Um, let's go with, I don't know, let's go with bright blue, let's see what happens. So you can sit here and colorize your data. The only thing that's important to note, this returns as a string. It doesn't return as a, an array with, uh, of objects with property names. So if you're just looking to pr put this out as a, just as a quick report, a textual representation, this is your go-to. Go check out the module. It's up on my GitHub. Thanks for watching.